One of the reasons I'm interested in hypnosis, it went. It, I realized that I became more interested in it for myself than for the erotic stuff. Right. For the erotic stuff, a lot of it was confidence in the bedroom. You know, I was dealing with all that. You know, what was my wee wee not working? What was what was the first time that your wee wee didn't work? Uh, you know, it was gradual because I'm so I'm one of those gay men who got so addicted to things like poppers. And the poppers are they kind of loosen your mind and your butt, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, more, but I think th they have that reputation for loosening up your butt, but I think it, it, much more so. It's that you sniff these things and they give you kind of a warm, heady rush that makes you feel more horny for about maybe 60 seconds. And the problem with them is that if it if you get too acclimated to them, you might be reaching for those poppers every three minutes or something and losing them in the bed. Where's the poppers? Oh, here they and And you begin oh, you to could, see them like a real compulsive freak. You yeah. could take them that often? It really is only 60 seconds? Yeah, of... it's only about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. So, so, so. That, but are you so, taking them on top of like drinking and marijuana? Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I gave those up completely. Uh, you ha you have to actually if you're doing Viagra or Cialis or anything like that because you could have a heart attack because oh, wow. those things do the same thing okay. to your bl blood pressure and all. Um, and what else were you addicted to? You were listing. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Oh, oh, oh! The cock rings and the ball stretchers and all those little implements oh, that you can attach to yourself. Let me ask you a question about the cock ring. Yeah. It's supposed to keep your blood. In your penis, yeah. right? To keep it, um, part of it is to keep it erect, and part of it is to sort of squeeze something that makes you feel good, right? It's yeah. It's, Does it it's, work? It's. I mean, I guess not. <laughs> it's it's that pleasure pl pleasure pain principle. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a tugging and a little bit of a painfulness that is actually kind of hot for you because it's like oh. So you this, have to be into a little pain. To a help? little bit, a little bit. Hot yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think the theory is that blood has a slightly easier way of getting in than getting out. And the, the best ones to use are like the, the silicone ones that you can occasionally stretch out to like give your circulation a little bit, you know. But I think that they do eventually over time hurt some people's overall whatever musculature or ligaments or whatever else is in there in the oh, so penis. The, so the assistance is then you become relying reliant exactly. on the assistance. Exactly. Oh shit. Too many enhancements. I I wouldn't I, this be a probably a frequent problem of somebody who's into S and M yeah. because what you're doing is you keep taking the threshold and Raising it up and raising it up, and then it takes a lot more for you to become kinky minded or yeah. become like in the mood or become excited by something because you've been there and done that. You've yeah. had everything in your ass at this point. Yeah, what you got? Yeah, well, it's, is that how gerbils end up in the ER? Uh, you know, I don't. <laughs> I don't think many people do the gerbil thing for real because you know it's really hard to control a gerbil, right? <laughs> I, I assume. I don't think it's for real. I mean, I feel like I've done most of the most fucked up stuff, and I've never had a gerbil. Yeah, um, have you landed in the ER? No, but I have gotten stuff stuck stuck up my butt for periods of time. How do you get it out? Uh, well, you just you poop. Basically, you you just gotta uh -huh. really, really concentrate, and and uh, you know, it's like giving birth. What's the hardest? <laughs> what's the hardest thing to give birth to? <laughs> well, the one that I I think I got like a corn cob stuck. <laughs> The worst part was that it was a it was a sacred corn cob. It was an Indian, you know, a Native American, and you were in a museum. <laughs> when women say how hard it is to give birth, do you roll your eyes? Well, but you know, but women give birth under hypnosis rather than anesthesia. Sometimes, sometimes that works for people. Right. They can go to the dentist under hypnosis. Uh, yeah, I, I go to the dentist under gas. Can I give birth like that? Oh God, yeah, I love gas. Oh, so good. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's another thing that if I had the opportunity. <laughs> I can't believe that dentists could just turn that shit on on you. Oh that shit god. is insane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you have to worry about other drugs like getting hooked on coke on anything? You know, it's funny because the harder ones like coke, meth, um 
whatever else. I, I, I've tried those things, right. and, and but been too sensitive, been too like, <gasps> uh, mm. been, been too worried and uncomfortable and and jumpy and jittery, and so I've always kind of been scared away from them. So that's a very, I, I think I'm very fortunate. Yeah. I try, I tried meth once in a sexual context, you know, having sex with someone, right. and I was like, oh wow. I should never do that again because that was just too good. Too good. <laughs> and a couple of days later, I had the best orgasm I've ever had in my life. And I was like, at first I was all hopeful, like, oh, the meth experience opened up a new a portal. synapse yeah. in my brain and allowed me to have the best. And I talked to a friend of mine who used to do a lot of meth. He's like, no. That's yet another thing that gets people super addicted to wow. it is that after a couple of days that it's out of your system, you'll have the best orgasm ever. Wow. <laughs> it's just a chemical thing. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm horny and insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's the truth. <laughs> So you can see I need a lot of hypnosis to uh, to get me back to normal.